This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button and subscribe button on that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think and see man lost that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, we all know that Diane Feinstein passed away. And from what I hear, they're going to have a body in stasis at the San Francisco, like, City Hall or the Capitol building or something like that. And she's supposed to be buried tomorrow on Thursday. But it is an interesting fact about Ms. Feinstein or Senator Feinstein. She has left her four daughters a portfolio worth a hundred million dollars. Now, how does a public servant with a six figure salary amass that type of fortune? She wasn't no investment guru. And it seems that some of her ex-husband's investments were controlled by information that he received from her because of her position in the Senate. I mean, she has a $60 million jet a $21 million mansion, a $7.4 million home in Washington, D.C., a $5 million home in Hawaii, and $70 million cash in the bank. How many politicians who were supposed to be working on the people's business working on doing what's best for the citizens of San Francisco has time to amass that type of fortune unless they were privy to information that her constitu constituents were not privy to. To me, and this is just my opinion, the wealth she amassed is another example of the fraud and corruption in our financial system, the fact that these politicians sit in meetings and they, not saying that they do, but there's a likelihood that they make their votes based on their stock positions. And if they know that the vote is going against them, more than likely they will sell their positions in the companies that will be affected by the vote going against them and vice versa. The bottom line is this, in my personal opinion, you don't amass a hundred million dollar fortune making six figures unless you have access to information that most people are not privy to. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think Diane Feinstein or Senator Feinstein amassed her wealth because she was a great investor or because she was privy to information that you and I would never be privy to? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.